I'm Scarlett, and this is SuperMultiverse.com's review of Pac-Man 99. Pac-Man 99 is a free download for Nintendo Online subscribers, which shares a lot of similarities with other free-to-play Battle Royale type games on the Nintendo Switch. You start off in a lobby with 98 other players, and after a few seconds, the gaming madness begins. Things start off as familiar as possible with power pellets, those white dots known as wafers, ghosts, and fruit. But in Pac-Man 99, every ghost you've chomped on is sent to another player's game as a hollowed out Pac-Man. Bumping into one of them will slow you down quite a bit, which of course is something you don't want since you're trying to keep as far away as possible from ghosts in as quick of a manner as possible. Now imagine multiple hollow Pac-Man trying to get you. That's when things become troublesome but eating up a power pellet will get rid of all those annoying Pac-Men. The wafers are now more important than ever as eating every one of them will unlock speed bonuses. You can stack these effects with the clearing of each new level, which is an important part of survival when your match is narrowed down to the final 10 or so players. There are also two rows of small ghosts on each side of the maze, and eating them will create ghost trains, which you can eat up after utilizing the power pellets. Fruits appear in the spawn box for ghosts once you have eaten through the wafers. Chomp one down and the board will reset. The pellets and the wafers will return and you will start the process over again. The fruits appear long before you've eaten all of the wafers, so resetting the board means you will end up losing out on some speed bonuses. The game pretty much focuses on two goals, getting high enough speed bonuses or surviving the entirety of the level. They switch up from either goal and can happen in a matter of seconds, even multiple times. But that's pretty much all there is to Pac-Man 99. No selection of mazes and no other modes, so the game feels like the same thing over and over and over again. You can link up with 98 other players online very quickly, sometimes even in 10 to 20 seconds. It's rare to have somebody wait more than a minute to be paired up. You can also pay to unlock different skins and a few offline modes. You can even pay to reskin the single Pac-Man 99 maze, or you can unlock everything there is to offer for $30. Offline modes are identical to online mode, and there just isn't much more being offered in Pac-Man 99. It's a fun game while it lasts, but we doubt that you'll be eagerly wanting to replay this game after your initial playtime. Pac-Man 99 gets a 6 out of possible 10 rating from the SuperMultiverse.com and is available on Nintendo Switch Online now. That was SuperMultiverse.com's review of Pac-Man 99. For all the latest gaming reviews, be sure to check out SuperMultiverse.com. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at SuperMultiverse and on Instagram at TheSuperMultiverse. See you all next time.